This is the story of the major home console releases of Assassin's Creed in three minutes. We tried compacting everything we could down to the bare necessities because these games have tons of information. Let's begin. The Dawn of Time, a divinical race known as the Isu, create man to do their bidding. They create the relics known as the Pieces of Eden in order to control human thought and manipulate mortality, as well as the Observatory, which is able to find any human being on the planet with a simple blood test. In order to preserve their own DNA, they create human Isu hybrids, two of which are called Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve rebel and steal one of the Pieces of Eden, an Apple of Eden, sparking a war between the Isu and the humans. The Isu become aware of an impending apocalyptic storm called the Toba Catastrophe and create secret underground temples to safeguard themselves. But the Toba Catastrophe hits earlier than expected and wipes out almost all the Isu and humans. The remaining Isu and humans work together to restore mankind. But while human beings steadily repopulate, the Isu fall into extinction. In order to warn the world of the second coming of the Toba Catastrophe, the Isu hide prehistoric but technologically advanced warnings all over the world in secret locations. As time passes on, two secret warring factions battle to decide the fate of mankind, the Assassin's Brotherhood and the Templar Order. While the Templars seek to control the free will of man, the Assassins fight back in an attempt to allow mankind the freedom of choice. Both sides seek the Pieces of Eden. In 1191, Assassin Altair discovers a mole within the Assassin Brotherhood. He wipes out the mole, finds the Apple of Eden, as well as a map to the locations of the other Pieces of Eden scattered all over the world. Altair becomes the leader of the Brotherhood, but a mutiny is set against him. He exiles himself, returns, and takes back his leadership position, then locks away his memories and keys he leaves behind. He locks himself and the Apple in a temple. In the 15th century, an assassin named Ezio learns of Altair's memories and begins to uncover the mystery of the Isu. Ezio fights the influence of the Pope and restores the Brotherhood name back to its rightful place. Years later, an assassin known as Edward Kenway adopts the pirate lifestyle and attempts to stop the local Templars from finding a man called the Sage, who knows the location of the Observatory. Edward seals the Observatory away from the Templars and has a son named Haytham. Haytham grows up, becomes a Templar, and encounters an assassin named Cormac, who uncovers a treasonous plot by the assassins. Haytham and Cormac stop the plot, and Haytham has a son named Connor. Connor becomes an assassin, kills his dad, and hides one of the keys to the Isu secret temple. In 1776, an assassin named Arno stops a Templar plot by using a Sword of Eden. In 1868, twin assassins Evie and Jacob recover the Shroud of Eden from the Templars, a device which gives immortality. In 1937, the modern Templar movement creates Abstergo Industries, a corporation with the secret intention of finding the pieces of Eden, as well as any ancient technology left behind by the Isu. They create the Animus, a machine that allows its users to see the memories of their ancestors. They kidnap Desmond, a descendant to many notable assassins, and use his memories to uncover the secrets of the Isu. Desmond breaks free of his captives with the help of some friends and learns of the second Toba catastrophe by analyzing the memories of Altair, Ezio, and Connor. He unlocks the temple and sacrifices himself at the Toba's return to save mankind. The assassins infiltrate Abstergo and watch over the company's secret plots as they continue abducting subjects in order to destroy the Brotherhood, and that's Assassin's Creed in three minutes. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. If you want to see more content, subscribe to Arcade Cloud. I've got a question for you guys. Who's your favorite assassin? The common answer is going to be Ezio. So what do you think? Let me know down below. Don't fight in the comments.